Hello and welcome to Adam ADC. We provide a collection of resources for IGCSC and checkpoint exams. For more information, please visit www.adamadeeasy.com. Solving IGCSC Accounting 0452 2023 May June Paper 13 MCQ. Let's begin. Question 1. What is the main function of bookkeeping? A. Communicating information. B. Interpreting information. C. Recording information. D. Summarizing information. The usual answer in such scenarios is C. Recording information because bookkeeping records information which is used by accounting to prepare financial statements. Hope you got that. Which components of a statement of financial position do descriptions 1, 2 and 3 relate to? Alright. Point 1 is finance and other resources that have been provided by the owner. This is basically the investment by the owner, the risk taken by the owner and this is capital. Two is money owed for goods supplied. Whenever a business owes money, that is a liability. Unpaid expenses, that is again a, a, an other payable and loans made to the business. Of course, these are also current or non-current liabilities depending on their uh, repayment period. Third, property owned by the business, amounts owed by customers, unsold goods and money in the bank. Unsold goods and money in the bank are current assets. Amounts owed by customers are also current assets. Property owned by the business is a non-current asset. Hence, making this our answer. Let's see which this matches. Capital assets. Okay, this is done. This is not right. This is also not right. Hence, making our answer option D. A check received from Kate, a credit customer who was dishonored. How was this dishonored check recorded? So, when we receive a check and we record it, what happens is we debit bank and credit our customer which in this case is Kate so in this when we have a dishonored check dishonored honor check what we do is we reverse the entries so we debit Kate and credit bank hence making our answer option B 4 what does the sales ledger of a business contain a. Accounts of trade payables B. Accounts of trade receivables C. Sales accounts D. Sales ledger controller Alright, so the sales ledger of a business usually as the name suggests sales are the customers hence making the answer B. Trade payables Alright, question 5 Which action is an example of double entry bookkeeping? A. Making a journal entry to record the correction of an error Bait in the ledger Okay this doesn't sound like a bookkeeping and uh, double entry bookkeeping. So this is wrong. All right. Making entries in the sales journal and the sales ledger to record goods and sold credit. This is also not double entry exactly because this does not record both effects. Recording a check paid to a trade payable in the cash book, of course, the bank side and purchase ledger. This sounds right because uh, we're recording both sides. Then there is option D, recording the purchase of goods on credit, purchases, journal and purchase account. You're only recording the purchases, not the customer. Hence, this is also the wrong option. Making option C our correct answer. Question 6. What is true about cash discounts received? So, all any and all cash discounts are recorded in the cash book. And since cash discounts are an income for us, what happens is that they increase the profit for you. Alright? So, um... Hence, making option A the correct answer. Moving on, we have question number 7. <laughs> Tahir prepared a trial balance. He entered both the balance on the discount allowed account 900 and the bank overdraft 750 in the wrong column. Which total of the trial balance was higher and what was the amount of difference between the debit total and the credit total? Alright, so let's take debit here and let's take credit on the other side. Uh, let me tell you what happened in this what happened was he entered it in the wrong column so when we entered the discount allowed in the wrong column the nature of discount allowed is expense hence it is debited in the trial balance but since we are entering it in the wrong column it goes up to the credit side so credit plus 900 while on the debit side the balance decreases by 900 causing an 1800 deficit all right deficit in the sense a difference difference of 1800 all right and then 
when we talk about bank overdraft bank overdraft is a liability in nature and hence is normally put in the liability section okay but what 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 happens is that here it has been put in the debit section all right and hence the credit balance gets 750 lower in this case so here again let me tell you we have a difference of 715 to 2 that is 1500 so um here the credit side was positive here the debit side was positive but since the credit side had a larger amount we'll do 1800 minus 1500 giving us 300 positive difference on credit side hence making our option a the correct answer question 8 goods sold on credit to j sharp were debited in error to the account of t sharp all right which type of error has been made a commission b complete reversal in complete reversal the entries would have been reversed this is wrong original entry it is also wrong because there are no amounts involved principal is also wrong because both are credit customers and only the account is wrong the class and the side are right hence making option a the correct answer question 9 Khalid made entries in the suspense account to correct two errors found in the ledger accounts. Once the errors were corrected, the suspense account was closed. Error 1. 700 sales had been omitted from the sales account. To correct this error, what we do is we credit sales 700. Since we have nothing on the debit side, what we do is we debit the suspense account by 700. Alright. And for the uh, error 2, that is purchases journal had been overcast by 550. Since it has been increased by 550, what we do, we have to decrease it by 550. To increase the balance, we debit it. So to decrease the balance, we credit purchases by 550. And we debit suspense because there is nothing else on the suspense account. This is the entry for error 2. Which entry was made in the suspense account to balance the trial balance? The trial balance. Okay. So let's make the suspense account here. On the debit side of the suspense account, on the debit side of the suspense account, we have sales of 700 and then purchases of 500. 550, I'm uh, sorry, my bad. So here we have the debit side. Since we have nothing on the credit side, the entry, the balancing entry will be on the credit side. So that will be difference on trial balance. Now we add both of them and we get the amount as 700, 700 plus 550 that is 1250 hence making the difference on trial balance $1250 which is a credit entry making B the correct option. 10. Maya depreciates a motor vehicle at 25% per annum using straight line method. A motor vehicles cost $15,000. The depreciation for the correct finan current financial year was incorrectly calculated at 15% per annum. How will correcting the error affect the profit of the year? Okay, well, let's just see this. So 25% using the straight line method, what we do is 15,000 into 25%. That is basically 15,000 divided by 4, 3, um, 4, 3 is at 12, 30, 3, 7, 5, 0 dollars. Should have been the expense of depreciation, but what they did, 15,000 dollars into 15 percent that is 150 divided by 275 that is dollar 2250 let me just check again just confirm it with my calculator yes 3750 and yes 2250 so uh, we recorded this in the income statement for this year and we did not record this So when we correct this error we go from 2250 to 3750 hence increasing our expenses This this reduces the profit. How much does this reduce the profit by the difference in the balance of course that is 3750 minus 2250 which is dollar fifteen hundred. Hence, making option A our correct answer. Question eleven: 
Wasim received a bank statement. He found that the bank had charged interest twice in error and that a dividend had been rever- received on an investment. All right. Wasim then updated the cash book and prepared a bank reconciliation statement. Where did he record these two items? Okay. So when we talk about a bank error, since this is on the bank statement and this is no relevance to anything in the cash book, we do it in the bank reconciliation statement. And a dividend which had been received on an investment that is shown in the uh, bank statement is not in the cash book. So we record it in the cash book. Hence making option B our correct answer. Question 12. Thame B is preparing her sales ledger control account. She needs to know the total for goods which have been returned by credit consumers. Second, the amount owed by credit customers which have been written off as irrecoverable. Where can she obtain this information? Good question. So, uh, she can obtain this information. The first information, since she is preparing a sales ledger control account, first information can be obtained in the purchases um, returned by credit customers. So, sales, sales returns, sales returns account. Uh, sorry, the sales return journal, my apologies. Sales returns journal. And the second one is the irrecoverable debts, hence the general journal. Making option D our correct answer. Question 13. On 1 August, the sales ledger control account had a debit balance of $1,800. During August, a debt of $200 was written off as irrecoverable, $10,000 was received, and the credit uh, and the CD balance CD was $3,000 owed by credit customers. Alright. So, since we had a debit balance of $1,800, that means $1,800 was yet to be paid to us. So, $1,800. Minus 200 because it is not going to be paid. Plus the sales for the period. Minus $10,000 which was paid. This should equal to $3,000. We still owed by the credit customers. So what we do is we solve this equation. We take everything on the right side. That is 3000 plus 10000 plus 200 minus 1800 that is 13,200 minus 1800, which is 11,400, making option C the correct answer. Question 14. A wholesaler had the following transactions. Sold goods $30,000 on credit. Received check $12,000 from sale of old fixtures at book value. How would these amounts be classified? Alright, when we talk about sale of goods, this is a uh, this is a receipt which is very recurring in nature as this is done on a daily basis for a manufacturing business and a trading business. Hence, this is a revenue receipt. And when we talk about old fixtures at book value, this is a non-current asset and this is not usually sold. This is a capital ex- expenditure because this is other than the trading activities of the business. Hence, making option C our correct answer. Question 15. A trader debited the cost of repairing office equipment to the office equipment account. So what he did was he reduced his expenses and increases non-current assets. Okay. When we say reduce expenses, so the profit figure is overstated and um, the profit is higher as compared. And this is include this is not included in the income statement. When we talk about office equipment account, this is included in the SOFP statement of financial position, or you may call it balance sheet and the amount here is overstated as well so profit of the year is overstated yes and non-current assets are also overstated I'm making option a our correct answer a business bought two assets x and y on 1 january 2022 for two thousand dollars each it depreciates asset x by 10 percent per annum using the straight line method and asset y by 10 percent per annum using the reducing balance method which statements are correct asset x will be fully depreciated before asset y this is true because when we use the straight line method, what happens is that after a certain amount of time, the value of the non-current asset goes to zero. But since um, in the reducing balance method, what we do is we uh, reduce it by a percentage of the net book value, the actual value of the asset never actually reaches zero. Hence, this option is incorrect. The second statement is in, in 2022, the depreciation charge is lower for asset X than for asset Y. This is an incorrect statement. This is because the 10% of 2000 is $200 and that is the same for the year 2022. When we move on to the further years, this, uh, the amount will differ. But in 2022, it is same. 
So the first statement is correct and the second statement is incorrect, making option C our correct answer. Question 17. Russia's financial year, Ravi's financial year, my bad, ends on 30th April. Ravi bought a motor vehicle for $8,000 on 1 May 2022 and sold it for $4,050 on 1 May 2022. Okay. And cost $8,000. Sold four zero five seven. Let me just bring this here. Okay. Cost eighty eight thousand. Uh, sold for four thousand fifty. Reducing balance method of depreciation at twenty percent per annum. Okay. So depreciation twenty percent. Let's write it down. All right. The depreciation of twenty percent. Um. So 20% is essentially 1 upon 5, 1 upon 5 of 8,000 that will come down to 1,600, I suppose. Uh, yes, yeah, $1,600 making the NBV, that is the net book value. How do we find the net book value? We uh, subtract it, we subtract it, uh, we subtract the depreciation from the cost or the depreciation from the previous year's net book value. So here it gives us $6,400. Then we go on to depreciation of 20% for the year 2021. Yes, 1 May 2020 to 2021 and then 21 to 22. Okay. So this, let me write it again here. Okay. The depreciation of 20% of 6400 that is divided by 5. So 5. 1, 2, supposed to be this way. Mm. One two eight zero. Alright. This is the value. Now we subtract it from the NBV of the previous year. That is 6400. This gives us the answer of 5120. Alright. Now we see that the net book is 5120 which is higher than the value at which it was sold which is 4050 hence giving us a loss of 5120 minus 4050 which is 1070 dollars in loss making option c our correct answer all right question 18 on 2nd january razia wrote of 500 450 dollars owed to her by Annette, a credit customer as irrecoverable. On 2nd October, Annette paid $100 by check in part settlement of the debt. Which entries would Razia make on 2nd October? Since it was already written off as irrecoverable, what we'll do is we'll credit debts recovered. Alright? Debts recovered in the sense, something which has been previously recorded as irrecoverable and is now received as an amount by the uh, supplier. So, debts recovered would be credited. And since we are receiving, Razia is receiving $100 by a net, bank would be debit, making option A our correct answer. Question 19. Asha provided the following information about her inventory at uh, the end of the financial year. Product P, number of units is 200. Cost price, selling price. Okay. How do we value the inventory? We value it at the lower of cost and NRV. What is NRV? NRV is selling price per unit minus the selling expenses per unit since there are no selling expenses we'll consider the selling price as the nrv so what we do in this case is we multiply by the number of units by the value which is lower so here this uh, selling price is lower so 200 into two dollars that is 400 dollars and uh, 300 into three dollars which is lower hence making it 900 dollars the total value of our inventory goes down to $1,300. Alright? Fair enough. So, option A is our correct answer. Next, which group shows contains only service businesses? Bookshop, language school, news agent. This is wrong because bookshop is a trading business. Jewelry supplier, jewelry repairer, okay. Taxi firm, okay. Food store, food store is a trading business. Language school, service. Taxi firm, service. Jewelry repair a service. Okay, C is correct. So let's check the last one. Taxi firm service, news agent, kind of trading, food store also trading. 
wrong option. So C is the correct option, making answer C the correct option. Uh, question 21. What does the statement of financial position of a business show? Assets and liabilities a certain date. Calculation of the annual profit or loss during the year. Changes in equity, income and expenditure. Income and expenditure is shown by the income statement. Changes in equity is shown by the statement of changes in equity. Calculation of the annual profit is shown by the income statement. Making option A. Assets and liabilities are correct. Answer. Question 22. A trader pays her insurance premium on 1 January each year for the following 12 months. She made the following payments for insurance for the entire year. Okay. How much did the trader include for insurance in her income statement for the year ended 31 March 2023? If it ended on 31 March, then it started on 1 April in the previous year. So if it started on 1 April in the previous year, 9 months of 2022 and 3 months of 2023. Alright. So 9 months of 2022 and 3 months of 2023. So what we do in this case is that we know the uh, total paid for six uh, for twelve months for twelve months. So we divide it by twelve, and then we multiply it by nine to get our answer. Let me just do that. Give me a second. Sixteen eighty divided by twelve. Sixteen eighty divided by twelve into nine. That is twelve sixty dollars. Then we have uh, 2023, that is 3 months. So 1920 divided by 12 into 3. That is 480 dollars. You can cross check through your calculator if there is anything. Alright. So uh, this, the total amount will be 1260 plus 480 giving us $17.40 as our answer which is option B. Question 23. Which item is added to the profit for the year in a partnership appropriation account? Items that are added to the profit year are those which increase, which are paid to the business, not paid by the business, the partners but paid to the business. Interest on capital is paid by the, uh, by, by the business to the owners, so this is wrong. Interest on drawings, interesting. This is correct. Partners drawings, wrong. These partners drawings are not included in the appropriation account at all. And partner salaries are again paid by the business. This is also wrong. Making option B are correct answer. Abhi and Ernie are in partnership. Ernie is entitled to an annual partnership salary of $3,000. The share residual profits and losses equally. Profit for the year ended 31 August 2022 was $12,600. Alright. $12,600. These were the current account balances. What was the credit balance on Ernie's current account? As previously explained, a credit balance on a current account is a positive in this situation. And a debit balance is negative. Alright. So let's find out the uh, appropriation and the available profit for distribution first. So the profit of the year, 12,600 minus the salary, partnership salary, which gives us 9,600. Now we divide it into two people and we get 4,800 for each. Alright. Now since, um, okay, wait. since we had uh, a debit balance on earnings, so earnings, so we keep it minus 1,400 plus the partnership salary that he or she receives not sure also um, plus the $4,800 of profit for the year this gives us $7,800 minus $1,400 that is $6,400 that is option C what is meant by the term equity dividend paid to ordinary shareholders no not at all funds raised to borrowing not at all interest paid to debentures holders again no Total funds provided by the shareholders. That is correct. That is the capital of the business. And if when you talk about a sole trader as well, the total funds provided by shareholders are invested by the sole owner is equity. Owner's equity. Alright. So option D is the correct answer. 26. During the financial year, AB Limited paid debenture interest of $1,400 relating to that financial year. At the end of the year, debenture interest of $700 was accrued. 
how is the venture interest shown in the financial statements for the income statement and statement of changes in equity all right so important thing is that in the statement of changes in equity debenture interest is not included at all so there will be no entry in the statement of changes in equity making option c and d redundant then talking about option um, then talking about the income statement since 700 was accrued it also it, it relates to that particular year itself all right it relates to that year so 1400 dollars for that year plus 700 dollars that gives us 2100 dollars for the year whatever okay they've not specified the year so hence option b is the correct answer because we include the accrued amount for that year as well 27 which items are included in an income and expenditure account prepared for a sports game okay then um cost of new furniture purchased during the year for the clubhouse this is a non-current asset hence this is not including in the income and expenditure account depreciation of furniture and sports equipment this is an expense goes into the account rates for the clubhouse paid in advance for the next year so if it is for the next year it is not included if it for the current year it is included so this is wrong subscriptions that remain unpaid by club members at the end of the financial year. see this since this is for this particular year we record hence option two and four making option c our correct answer question 28 melody is a music club the club holds a music concert once every year prizes are awarded to musicians selected by a judge the club provided the following information related to the music concert sale of concert tickets purchase of concert prizes sale of concert programs payment of fee to the concert judge so basically here we add the revenue and we subtract the uh, expenditure the revenues from the sale of concert tickets and the sale of concert programs minus uh, the per purchases and the payment of fee so 450 minus 450 minus 250 that is 1650 minus 700 i'm just calculating it verbally because that's what i'm comfortable with 950 dollars hence making this our profit you can recheck with your calculator as well all right just do that in case maybe option a our correct answer question 29 a business provides the following information opening closing purchase of carriage inwards cost of raw material consumed basically cost of sales of an uh, income statement so what we do is opening that is fifty thousand dollars plus purchase eighty thousand dollars plus carriage inwards two thousand dollars minus our closing inventory all right what is our closing inventory again our closing is sixty thousand dollars okay yes so in this scenario uh, we add all of this 50 plus 80 is 130 132,000 minus 60,000 132,000 minus 60,000 gives us 72,000 making options B are correct answer Ashwin started a business as a taxi driver on 1 January 2022 his taxi cost $5,000 and he paid $100 into a business bank account so here we know that the opening capital is $5,100 that is the taxi and the business bank okay now to find the closing capital let's see um 31 December 22 he had 1750 in the business bank account 1750 taxi valued at 4000 4000 $450 he took out 1600 as drawing okay that we include in the capital account so we won't uh, do that here 1750 plus 4750 minus 50 is 5700 all right looks like an interesting question so what we do in this case is opening capital minus drawings plus profit oc minus drawings plus profit normally gives us our um, closing capital Hence, in this scenario, our opening average is 5100 minus drawing is 1600 plus our profit would give us 5700. That is the closing capital. 
if we bring everything on the right side that is 5700 minus 5100 that is 600 600 plus 1600 that is 2200 dollars that is a profit making option b the correct answer okay this is not good <laughs> all right a trader did not keep a complete set of records he provided the following information for the year opening trade payables closing trade payables payments to credit suppliers cash discount received what were the purchases for the year all right opening trade payables in the sense something that is owed to them all right so five thousand dollars minus five thousand but here since it is positive for them we'll take it positive we'll take payments as negative and it's as it reduces the balance then we add the purchases for the year uh less the cash discount received of course as it reduces our balance that is should be equal to the closing inventory if we bring everything on the right side that gives us purchases equal to 9800 minus 5000 plus 35000 plus 3000 that okay 3000 yes that is 38000 minus 5000 33000 that is, should be 42800 the purchases are 42800 make option d our correct answer question 32 T Limited provided the following information net profit before interest, profit for the year, equity at the year, and and 6% departure. Since the net profit before interest, 29,200, let's take that. The formula for return on capital employed is net profit before interest or operating profit. Alright, whole upon. Okay. Capital plus non current liability. Okay. And this and this is essentially this is essentially multiplied by hundred to get our final ratio a percentage. Since this is a percentage, it is multiplied by hundred. Alright. Here we go. This is our formula. According to the formula, the net profit before interest is $29,200. And um, then we look at the capital employed, which is capital plus NCL. That is, capital is the equity, $192,000 plus $20,000, making it triple zero. We divide it and then we multiply it by 100. Essentially, the answer should be 14.5. Well, let me just check again. Okay. 292.00 divided by 212.00 into 100. 13.77%. That is option B. Alright. Question 33. Sabello's as la liquid ratio, asset test ratio was higher on 1 January 2022. Then it was on 31st December 2022. Okay. So it decreased throughout the year. So if the uh, liquid asset test ratio decreases, that means that um, the assets have decreased or the liabilities have increased. So let's check if that is the case in any of these options. Bank order of decrease, that is a liability decreasing, hence it is wrong. Inventory decrease, inventory is not included in the calculation. Hence, this is also insignificant. Uh, other payables decrease. This is uh, again a liability which is decreased. This is also not relevant. Finally, we have trade receivables decreases and asset decrease. Hence, this is correct. Alright, question 34. The following ratios relate to the business of um, Eva and Max. Okay, nice names. <laughs> The uh, current ratio of EVA is 2.2, max 2.4, liquid ratio 1.4 and 1. EVA can meet her current liabilities from her current assets more easily than max. That is not true because max has a higher current ratio. So option 1 is wrong. I'll just mark this way. Um, EVA can meet her current liabilities from her liquid assets more easily than max. Liquid assets is liquid ratio. And that is true. We will mark it this way. Max is insufficient current assets to meet his current liability. That is false because he has a 2.41. That is a very high ratio, first of all. But then this is wrong because he does have enough current assets. 
Max is sufficient liquid assets to meet his current liability. Just sufficient, one is to one. That's why it is true. So, um, statements two and four are correct, making option D our correct answer. Moving on to our last question. A cafe owner made no entry in her account for increased competition when another cafe opened nearby. Which accounting principle is applied? Simple, money measurement principle. Why? Because it was something that was not related to monetary terms of the business and hence it was not applicable uh, to the business. With this, we come to the end of the paper. If you have any queries, please put it in the comment section and one of our team members will get back to you shortly. Thank you for watching and have a good day.